My whole life. My whole life. My whole life. My whole life. My mother's whole life. I've experienced inequality and I've experienced unfairness and I don't want other people to feel how I feel or how I felt. My name is Skylar Diggins Smith. I'm a WNBA All-Star guard for the Dallas Wings. I grew up playing with and against a lot of guys. I knew when I first started playing, I didn't want you to treat me any differently because you're not making me better treating me differently. You know, I want to get better. I don't want you to feel sorry for me that I'm a female or you're, you might be bigger or physically stronger. I mean, if you didn't play rough, get off the court. Like, I'm out here. And I would hate when people would try to, like, throw me, like, soft bounce passes or soft chest passes. I'm like, throw it, you know? I think as a woman, if you have confidence or if you come off very confident in yourself, it's seen differently than if if, if a man does so. You know, if a guy comes off with a lot of confidence or what have you, he's a boss. You know, if a, if a woman comes off with a lot of confidence, she's a, she's a, that was always my attitude when I stepped on the floor. Like, if we lose or if you knock me down, if I skin my knees, elbow, like, charge it to the game. I love playing in the WNBA. I love it. I love playing in the WNBA. People always look at me like I have three heads when I say it's the most competitive league in the world. The barrier of entry is so hard. It's the top 1% of all women's basketball players that make it to the WNBA. But, you know, I hear people saying like, well, switch me, switch jobs with me. I, I would love to do, to do that job and get paid that. Do you know how long I've worked for this? Yeah, I don't know what it's like to play in the NBA. It looks fantastic. <laughs> the difference is that I see resources or lack thereof. We have two jerseys, we're playing the same jerseys all year. So I don't have the opportunity to like take off my jersey when I see a little girl saying, can I have your jersey? I'm like, uh, this is the only one I got. Don't act like you don't see the discrepancy. You know, don't, don't make me feel like I'm crazy. Like this is not new as far as us not getting paid. You know, a lot of women are in the WNBA are entrepreneurs, have their own businesses. They, they make investments because we understand basketball isn't forever. And that's what a lot of guys don't understand. They think the stream of money is gonna continue to come and flow as it does currently. And that's why you see a lot of them go bankrupt. Just having that understanding of the discrepancy. It makes you prepare for, for life after basketball. If I met myself at age seven, I would tell her, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of losing. Don't be afraid of, of challenges. Don't be afraid of, of hurdles. You know, have fun. And sometimes you need to speak for others who can't speak for themselves.